Fanny Maylie Jones has never been so excited for a Let's Play in all her life. As you can see, she's really happy about it. She fake tanned, she got lip filler, and she got a nose job just for this video. We are in the brand new drag- I'm saying brand new, this game was released like years ago. <laughs> we are in the Dragon Valley world with all of the dragons. Everything is very medieval looking. This is our medieval music theater, our medieval police station right here. I bloody love this. Sims 3 for this. <laughs> you think there'd be a special way to get a dragon egg, but nope, you just get it from build mode. So here's our little egg. Should we talk to the egg? Talk about friends. We've got loads of random options. I don't know why they exist. This is my first ever time playing with this pack. I didn't have it when I was younger because like I was too poor to afford all the store items. But now like I can claim it on my tax return, so it's not that big of a deal. It says five hours, three minutes. Is that when the egg hatches? I guess we should talk to it as much as possible. I feel like that would be a very good thing. Although I'm not sure what Fanny Mae is doing. She's probably scaring the egg off by being completely weird and showing her teeth through her big Botox lips. Oh my god, there's a person and they're blue. Oh my god, why do you- um, excuse me, don't go away please. Get out your car mate. Why are you blue? Margaret Vagster. <laughs> <laughs> so her name's Margaret she looks like that. I do love Dragon Valley now. I do love it. I've been in it five minutes. Who's this guy? Do you know what I mean? Brayden McGrath. Brayden, you are so sexy in your chainmail. Do I have a chainmail fetish? Absolutely. I love our little medieval mailbox as well. Isn't that sweet? There are three dragons, red, purple, and green, and they each have like a different ability. Oh, Shanice has decided to put the egg down by the side of the house so it's dark and we can't see anything. Oh my god, it's about to hatch. Shanice, come back. Please stop watching TV. The dragon egg is about to hatch. I am so excited to see what's going to happen. What kind of dragon do we get? What colour is it? It looks like an ape, not an apricot. What's it? An acorn. Oh my god, what colour? It's green. We've got a green dragon. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Oh my god, we can name it. We can actually name the dragon. The dragon is called Kieran Chase Kyle Lee. Oh my god, Kieran Chase Kyle Lee, you are so cute. I absolutely love you. Oh my god, we can carry him. Let's carry him away from the darkness and go into a lighter area of the street. Oh my god, he's on my lap. Not on my lap. <laughs> what am I on about? On my shoulder. Oh my god. Okay, we've got to feed him. There's a lot to do. Which she put him. Did she just put him in her ass? I think she did. <laughs> Come back. We need to feed you. Who's she talking to? She's talking to the wall. Fanny Maylie Jones. What are you doing, mate? You've got to feed a dragon. Come on. Let's get feeding, please. We're actually feeding him a fish. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. What have we done? I just clicked on something. Talking to him about gardening. How lovely is that? I don't really care. We can play with him. What we play? Oh, we're gaining skills. I'm not sure what skills. Skill we're gaining. But there we go. Having a little play. Oh my god, he just bit my finger. Fanny Maylee Jones is not happy about that. What else can we do? We can get him to fly. Where's he gonna fly to? There isn't enough space for dragons to fly here. Excuse me, we're in Dragon Valley of all places. Where can we go to let him fly? Should we go exploring in the world? What's this little area here? I feel like this would be a very good place to fly around. It's very open. Let's get going. Fanny May getting in a taxi in our medieval world. Not immersion breaking at all. So do you want to have a fly around here? What did I call you? Kieran Chase Kyle Lee. There's not enough space. What? What are you chatting on? What are you chatting on? How is there not enough space for him to fly around? I'm so disappointed with you, Fanny Mate. You're being awful with your dragon. What else can we do with you? Summon treasure. That sounds really lovely. I do want to summon treasure. Fanny Mae is materialistic. She does like treasure. Is he going to find it? Are you going to find the treasure for me? Where are you going? Where are you off to? What's happening? Are we action cancelling? <laughs> What's going on? Where's the dragon going? Okay. What's he? What's what? What did, what just happened? <laughs> what did we get? It summoned something from the skies. What did we get? We got an emerald. We're gonna get the emerald cut. Shanice doesn't like it when they're uncut. She likes the cut ones, apparently. I personally don't. I like the uncut ones, but that's just me being British. We can also harvest plants with our dragon. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. He's just disappeared off. What's going on? Kieran Chase Kyle Lee could not find any plants to nurture or harvest. What a waste of dragon magic. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's it's getting a bit dark and when it's dark in The Sims 3, I do like to hang out in the graveyard. No other place I'd rather go. Oh my god, we've got a dragon egg in our inventory. Why have we got a dragon egg in our inventory? <laughs> it's my baby, it's Kieran Chase Kyle Lee. Already laid an egg. We've been doing this Let's Play about two bloody minutes. Why have you already laid an egg for Christ's sake? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Anyway, our dragon's gone off flying out. Finally, we're able to fly in the most enclosed space when you're complaining, oh, we don't have enough space to fly here. Apparently, we needed to go to the graveyard first and now he's 
you can fly around, which is lovely. So I'm not sure what that's about. Anyway, apparently it's only green dragons that have the ability to summon treasure and have the ability to harvest plants in a location. So it seems like it's a good one for gardening. Also, apparently the dragon makes it so you don't have a hunger need or bladder need, which both are very high, which is cool. So I didn't know that, though we are getting a bit tired, like we do need to look after our needs. Evil slumber sounds lovely. Something that Fanny Mae would do. I mean, to be fair, our house isn't that luxurious. I do think she needs a bit of a better house. This is rather tragic. Looks, oh, it looks a bit like a penis from this angle. <laughs> I am definitely not cheating us a nicer house with mother load. Definitely not. Oh my God, our dragon egg is about to hatch. Oh, for Christ's sake, I forgot that we had another dragon egg. <laughs> What's going to happen now? Where are you going? Where are you putting your egg? Chantal. Not Chantal. Fanny Mae. Chantal's in The Sims 4. Oh my god, we got a red dragon now. Oh my god, hello. Oh my god, we can give it a name. The red dragon is called Poppy Tallulah May. Absolutely beautiful name. Apparently, red dragons are the most aggressive and fearless of all the dragons and can shoot fireballs. So that sounds like one for me. Where is our red dragon, you ask? I actually do not know. I've lost the red dragon. Oh my god, here he is. Oh my god, he's asleep on the floor. That is so cute. I mean, she, Poppy Tallulah May. Let's have a little play, Poppy Tallulah May. That is so cute that you exist. And let's feed you so you don't die. Although I like that our green dragon can collect things for us. You know, you can have a little set and they'll be all good. The last one we need is the purple dragon. Oh, look at that. You got us a diamond. How lovely. But we are going to get it cut. Fanny Mae does like it cut. Not sure why. That was a little bit political of me. I apologize. Anyways. Oh my God. Where's our red dragon gone? I've lost the red dragon again. I'm so sorry, red dragon. Poppy, whatever your name is, Poppy Tallulah. I'm awful at looking after you. Come get in my inventory, Poppy Tallulah May. I need to look after you well. Also, I want you to shoot some fireballs at some people. Shall we hang out at the park and wait for someone to come along? Wait, pause. Who is this? I'm going to talk to Deidre Quinoa because Deidre Quinoa does not look like she belongs in this world. She's the worst excuse for a Dragon Valley lady. Why is she wearing jeans in a medieval world? Absolutely crazy. We're going to be mean-spirited and argue with her. We're also going to do a mastermind plot, whatever that is, because we absolutely hate her because she is insidious and so annoying. Why is she wearing a pink cardigan and jeans in a medieval world? Even Fanny Mae put on her medieval outfit for the world. And that is a big ask for Fanny Mae. Anyway, Poppy Tallulah Mae, I'm sure these names are confusing you. We're going to cast a fiery torment on De Deirdre. What does that actually mean? I don't know, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Little does Deirdre know what's about to happen to her. Are we going to do it? What's happening? What's going on? Are we going to cast a fiery torment? Fanny Mae is getting ready. Deirdre is getting ready. Ready. Poppy May is getting ready. What's gonna happen? Oh my god, what, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> She's being set on fire. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I mean, I did do that deliberately. I'm sorry, mate. I am sorry. What if we shoot a fireball at her? I wonder if it kills her. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? She doesn't belong in this world. I'll do anything to get rid of her. Poppy May, unleash your fire on Deirdre. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to do that. Oh, she singed. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. I am sorry, mate. <laughs> Deirdre Quinoa, you are singed to a crisp. Absolutely gutted. Can we shoot another fireball at her? Oh my God, we actually can. We can shoot another fireball at her. That is a little bit evil if we do that again. Oh no, she's ran off. Now we're with a, a policewoman, Shannon McKenna. Oh my God, Shannon eating a bloody cheeseburger in a police outfit with bloody pale white skin. What's going on here? <laughs> this world is absolutely mental and I love it. I mean, there's a lot to Dragon Valley that I haven't seen yet. This is what I love about The Sims 3. Like, you can literally just go anywhere. Like, what's this up in here? What's all this? Oh, is this a house? Maybe. Do you know what? Maybe we should move out because I did cheat us a load of money. So, Fanny Mailey Jones and the dragons, we're going to be going off. I mean, this little cozy cottage, that sounds really nice. I do think Sims 3 builds do look nice. Like, don't get me wrong, the build tools weren't great, but at least EA actually put effort in them. Like, the Sims 4 ones are tragic always. These ones, like, they do make a little bit more effort with them and I like it. Granted, it's not very well decorated. We forget that. We also forget the fact that there's four coffee tables. Still, I think the house suits us a lot more. The last one we need is a blue dragon. I've just got like loads of dragon eggs because what I would really like is just to have a giant dragon army. Fanny Mae is having a conversation with the oven. I'm not sure why. Maybe she's hungry. So we cook her medieval mac and cheese from our medieval electronic refrigerator. Let's hope she doesn't burn the bloody house house down. Maybe even the dragon could burn the house down. Who knows? It seems like your needs change depending on 
which dragon you have out. So I think if we get the green one out, I think we get a special mark and it like raises some of our needs. See, look, our bladder need is going up and we're not even like using the toilet. Do you know what I mean? That is quite useful. Oh my God, all of our dragons are hatching. I forgot they existed. We've got a red dragon and a green dragon. I didn't want red and green. I wanted blue. Red, green. How do I get rid of these? Can we get rid of them? Can we sell them from build mode? Is that savage? Oh my God, we can sell it. That is horrific. I'm so sorry. I'm selling you. I mean, it's a way of making money. They only cost 395 simoleons. So like we could just plant them. I say plant them like a seed and we can put them down and we can sell them. That is a very good way of making money, I believe. But what I really, really want is to get a purple one and then I'll be sussed. I believe there's a black one, like a special black dragon, but you have to pay like an extra premium for it. Like I'm, I am a little bit cheap. Like I'm not going to do that. Three dragons is as far as I can stretch. Tiny Mae's brushing her teeth in her medieval satanic sink, which is lovely. I do miss like the Sims 3 realism. Like look at the texture on that bed. Do you know what I mean? It does look quite nice. What the hell is this? Is this another dragon egg? Where on earth did that come from? <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Bloody hell. Should we let Poppy Tallulah out? Or can we not? Maybe we can only let like one out at a time. Oh no, I think, no, we, I don't, I think we can only put out like one at a time. Oh my God, our dragon eggs are hatching. What are we going to get? What have we got? A green dragon. We got a red dragon, a green dragon, anything but blue basically. Oh no, we got a purple dragon. That's what I meant, purple. We got another green. We got another green. I don't want all these green dragons. I'm sorry, but I'm selling you. Goodbye. I do not want you. All I want is my little purple dragon. Come here now. Oh my God, we can name it. I keep forgetting we can name them. The purple dragon is called Mr. Phallic Flange. Mr. Phallic Flange, you are so cute. What can you do? Be the life of the party. What does that mean? Phallic Flange is the life of the party. I'm so sorry, but I think that name is going to have to get me demonetized. Was it worth it? Perhaps. What are we doing? Oh my God, there's little sparkles. What is going on? What is that? What did that do? There's no parties going on right now, so there's nothing to improve. So I assume if you have a house party, it helps to improve your parties. Mr. Phallic Flange, that is really cool of you. Thank you very much, sir. We can also cast rune charms on people. Summon somebody new. What do you mean? Summon somebody new. Mr. Phallic Flange. Who are we summoning that's new? Who are we summoning? We're summoning Finn Dolan. Finn Dolan, you are really sexy. Do you want to woohoo with me? Let's give him a kiss, shall we? We already have like a decent relationship with him. We're already friends. We've only just met him. Not sure what's going on there. Oh gosh, the game's lagging now. Oh, oh dear. The game's lagging. Oh, and we got another dragon egg on the floor. What's that doing there? Finn has to go soon. He's got somewhere else to be. Oh my god, no. We need to use the purple dragon on him before he goes. Please, sir, don't go. Don't go, please, sir. We need to cast a rune charm on you, Finn Dolan. Or is he? No, he's gone off. He's gone off. Anyway, I need to restart the game because it's going absolutely nuts. <laughs> I have just restarted, so hopefully it's not going to crash again. I'm praying so anyway. Do you know who I really want to invite over? I want to invite over Deidre Quinoa. Deidre Quinoa, I want to punish you with my purple dragon. Oh, she doesn't feel like coming over. Maybe that is because we set her on fire before and she doesn't like me. Oh, I don't think I want to spend any time with you right now. I mean, I'd be the same Deidre Quinoa. Let's pick up our purple dragon, Mr. Phallic Flange, and let's summon somebody new to use this rune ability on, whatever that is. Who's here? Martin Eames. Hello, Martin Eames. Let's cast a rune charm on him. Why is she sneaking? Oh my God, Fanny Mate, why are you sneaking? <laughs> why, are you, why is she sneaking? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Oh, even he's got a dragon. He's got a green dragon and its name is Green Dragon. Fanny Mate, why do you look so evil? What are you doing? I asked you to do your little rune charm. Can you do your rune charm on this guy, please? Like I asked you to do. Come on, Fanny Mae. Why are you being so useless? Come on. Are you going to do it with your purple dragon? What are we doing? Okay, we're floating him. He's literally evitating what we're doing to him. Are we torturing him? Are we doing something nice? Like, I just don't know. What are we actually doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. Should we try it again? Because I genuinely don't know what that did. Very little bit of gameplay. I'm not too sure what that is about. Should we cast another rune charm on him? Come on then. Let's go. What's he doing? He's floating. Okay, it just makes him float a little bit, I think. Oh, apparently this makes the sim have a 20 plus mood boost. Also, when you have the mark of the purple dragon, it raises your fun need. So it's nice that they have different little personalities. Love our little dragons. What's that just came down from the sky? I'm not too sure what Mr. Phallic Flange is doing. Damn the time of his life, I think. Oh, look at all these plants outside this house. I'm going to steal these plants. Where's our green dragon? Because we can use our green dragon to steal those. That'd be really nice. Kieran, Chase, Kyle, Lee, you're coming with me. Come on, stop sleeping, please. We have got plants to steal. I don't know whose garden this is, but like we are stealing the plants. That is very bad of me, I know. Can we just, what can we do? Harvest plants? Does that work? And then do we just like steal them that way? There isn't enough space to fly, for Christ's sake. Come on, just steal the plants for me, please. We're going to get 
sent them. Oh my, oh my god, we've literally stolen all of them. That was so naughty, Kyle Lee, whatever your name is. We literally harvested a whole, a whole apple tree and we can sell all of these for a profit. I like how she wants to donate money to undermine a charity. The Sims 3 was definitely not safe. Like I think The Sims 4 would get cancelled if they had a, a want to undermine a charity. See, that is, I'll be brutally honest, that is why I do like The Sims 3 because it's not that woke. Like it's not afraid to be offensive. And like back in the day, people didn't cry about things like that. That's what I do really like about it. Can we steal these plants over here too? I want to steal all of them. I don't think there's a cooldown to do it. Oh my God, we've literally stolen more plants. That was so mean of you, Fanny Maylie Jones. I love how our gardening skill goes up as well. She hasn't even done anything. <laughs> Guys, I'll be real with you. Like if you like medieval little worlds, right? This is so lovely. Look, there's a little well here as well. Like, isn't that sweet? Oh, there's more gardening stuff we can steal. Didn't realize this was here. Where's Kyle? I mean, Kieran. Kieran chased Kyle Lee. Let's harvest some plants. How much is going to steal? Oh my God, we've got loads more stuff. That is so perfect. And our gardening skill is level three. Anyway, this little world has everything. Like it has a grocery store diner. It has a little business place here. It has an art gallery here. It has a science lab here, but like it all looks proper medieval. Do you know what I mean? Like if you like medieval worlds, I definitely think like this is one for you. I mean, if you like the medieval, get the Sims medieval. Do you know what I mean? But this is the next best thing in terms of playing in the Sims 3 because like there is a lot to this. It looks really nice. What's this? This is our spa. We can get a facial at the Dragon Valley Spa. Fanny Mae Lee Jones does love a facial. So do I. <laughs> that was an overshare. It doesn't come with much gameplay. I'll be brutally honest. It doesn't. But it's nice for like a quick little YouTube video to show you and it's a nice little world. It is a Sims 3 store item. Like it's not a full on pack. So there we go. It is just an optional extra. But I love the little dragons. I have an entire playlist of me playing the Sims 3. There are tons of different videos. So make sure to check one out. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.